Sam Yong Nordhoff, Principal Consult with Tate Communications. If you're thinking about P25 for public safety, it's difficult to know where to start. The information is fragmented, it's all over the place. It's difficult to separate the wheat from the chaff, the sales pitch from the technology issues. In order to help you through this maze of issues, we've put together as an ongoing project a series of best practices guides, combining the expertise of Tate personnel with industry experts. The fourth P25 best practice guide is called Implementing Your P25 System. This is where the rubber meets the road, where you actually execute the contract that you've signed. You've done your specification, you've received all the responses, you've selected your vendor, you've decided on the system design and the contract has already been prepared and signed. Now it's time to execute. So you're going to have to review very, very carefully what you've committed yourself to. And what's the process for doing the system design? You will also need to consider, how am I going to transition from my existing system to the new system? What are the migration or cutover plans? Acceptance testing forms a key part of executing any contract. You'll need to consider the factory acceptance tests, but also the field acceptance tests. And then there's preparing your organization in terms of training, not just theoretical training, but equipment training, and communication on what's going to happen and when it's going to happen and with whom. And then finally, D-Day will arrive, and it's system cutover time. Are you prepared for it? To learn more about these topics, Download your free copy of P25 Best Practice, Procuring Your P25 System, from the website p25bestpractice.com. Thank you.